Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today's video is regarding another video that I put up around about a day ago and unfortunately I did upload it around about 2am. So that means that half of the British viewers that I actually have on my channel probably missed it. But for all of you that don't really know, there has been a new official DLC that has been uploaded to Steam for Fallout 4. Yes, crazy, I know, right? And due to my last video, I was very unsure about what the DLC could be, and a lot of people were actually getting that confused with whether I actually thought it was a DLC or not. And guys, it is kind of silly because, um, so I'm going to show you the screen right now. I am on a website called steam.db, and on the downloadable content page for Fallout 4, here is the DLC in question, you know, Steam DB, unknown app, 540810 and it is without a doubt that is a new DLC in some shape or form it is downloadable content you know uh, the the PC users will actually be able to download this once it's in a public release and a lot of you guys were actually saying that it couldn't possibly be DLC well honestly guys I have been checking this page for around about I think the, the, the majority of the year and I have never seen anything other than DLC actually uploaded to this page. Uh, so in essence, yes, we are getting a new DLC for Fallout 4 in some shape or form. Now, like I said in the last video, I'm not too sure what that DLC would be. Um, I kind of suggested that, you know, it probably will be a workshop DLC. But when I looked at the comments in my last video, someone actually suggested that it may be just a patch to add in a lot more items uh, so that like P PS4 users can actually use those items as in-game assets, you know, rather than the external assets that they're not allowed to, uh, which is a very good idea. I hope that Bethesda Bethesda would actually consider doing that if this isn't that kind of DLC. Uh, but like I did say, personally, I feel like it is a workshop DLC because it's pretty easy to make and Bethesda, without a doubt, made a lot of money off the workshop DLCs. And it would be kind of, uh, I, I guess, from a business point of view, to earn a little bit more money, uh, it would be easy for them to put one of these out, you know, and obviously then PS4 and Xbox users would actually want that so that mods can be created from that DLC. Another thing that a loads of people was actually suggesting is that it could be just an update or some sort of downloadable content to actually introduce Fallout virtual reality to the people on the PC, the PS4 and the Xbox if it's actually going to be supported for the consoles. But I'm unsure why that would actually come as a DLC package. Surely it would have just came as a standalone update as you know the just the regular updates such as survival mode don't actually show through that download page. It's literally only downloadable content, DLC packages. Um, so yeah guys, it is kind of fun to speculate and like I did say, I just wanted to catch you all up and kind of explain what I meant last time as a lot of people were saying you sound very unsure that it's DLC. Well no, I, I was actually very sure it was, I just wasn't sure what kind of DLC it could be, you know? Because they actually said that this was going to be the last DLC, Nuka World would be the last. So it's kind of crazy right now, you know? And hopefully we can get an official world out soon if it is just a virtual reality update or whatever, or, you know, they are in fact introducing a new uh, lineup of DLC. It would be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have a wonderful day. And yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.